Remember when we visited Louisa May Alcott's grave? And there were letters all over it that people had left for her. One of them said, Dear Mrs. Alcott, I love your books, and I'm sorry you died. <laughs> Dad, Dad said that was sick, letting kids write to dead people, and you said you thought it was very touching. I didn't understand what touching meant at the time, so I pictured the skeleton of Louisa May Alcott's hand pushing up out of the grave to touch the letter. I know better now. Mom? I'm in love. <laughs> For the first time in my life. And, and I'm loved back too, which is even better. And, something now that I've never really understood before. I'm gay. There. I said it. <laughs> but not to Dad. Not yet. I've been rehearsing this over and over in my head, and then I started to remember when I was younger and I used to climb into bed beside you for a while and I could tell you any idea that came into my head and you'd be fine with it. When did we stop having those talks, Mom? Yeah, I forgot all about them. Until now. Mom, I'm, I'm scared. I'm not, I'm not talking about the bullying at school or the getting beat up. I'm talking about Dad. Yeah, yeah, I can handle the explosions better now, but I, I can't stand the sulks when he's half angry and half depressed and just goes on with his day and never says a word to me like, like I'm not even there. It passes, yeah, eventually, but what am I supposed to do in the meantime, huh? Evaporate? I thought about not telling him. But I have to. It's important for him to know who I am. You know, sometimes I, I picture you coming into the scene and calming us down, getting everything to make sense again. 